Hi, I'm Adam Broadway and I'm excited to show off the new module template options that can be applied to Business Catalyst modules. BC modules come with default templates that you can customize using tags, HTML and CSS. But now you can create any number of additional templates for a module and reference them explicitly inside the module tag. You simply append the custom template path directly after the last module parameter and before the closing squiggly bracket. And don't put a comma separator after the last attribute. This is going to provide far more flexibility to the way you can display list content for a module on a specific page. If the custom template doesn't exist, the default list template will be used for that module, as you can see here on my news page. To create a custom template, Open the new file manager, and I like to do this in a new tab or new window. Create a folder or use an existing folder that you have and begin adding a new template for a specific module that you'd like to display differently from the default list view. And best practice dictates to use the .tpl extension. This is an extension that will ensure that search engine indexes won't touch this file. And to fast track the creation of a new template, you might like to grab an existing default template content and then tweak it. So let's grab the default news list template from Site Manager, Module Templates, selecting the module, the template, and copying the HTML content. Now let's head back to the new file manager and paste our HTML into the new .tpl file that we just created and we'll adjust it as needed. Okay, so remember our news page with the module and the template path? That template didn't exist, so the default news list view was being displayed. Now that we've created that .tpl file, let's look at the news page and refresh it and you'll notice that it now has my custom list layout. This is super cool, but let's take it another step further. Another example is to use the System Visitor Device class. This will automatically render out the System Visitor Device class type, whether it's desktop, tablet, or phone. So depending on the type of device that's viewing this particular page, the template path will be dynamically created, and as long as that particular TPL file exists, it will render out a unique display of content based on that template. And here's another example where I want to create a specials page using a custom template for all products tagged as special. I've created the page and inserted the product module using the product feature list module. As you can see from the new module manager, I select the e-commerce module and selecting the product feature list I'm going to use the specials tag. Now let's tag a product with my specials tag and refresh the page. Notice that it's using the default product list template now if I reference the custom template and refresh the page again, a new layout appears. This will make things much easier for you to set up a unique looking specials page that your client can easily manage simply by tagging and untagging products as they need. So now you can begin customizing templates for web apps, blogs and all the other BC modules with the icing on the cake is that custom templates can also be used and included with modules in email newsletters. So be sure to check out that video. Well, thanks for watching. Be assured that the Business Catalyst team will continue to enhance this feature, giving you the power and flexibility to meet the needs of your customers.